So I'm going to go over our file structure, how to set up your scenes, some plugins you can use, hotkeys, things like that. I know this can be boring, but I'll try being as quick as I can. Um, it's important stuff though. So let's start out by first setting up our files. So you notice when you create your project, you get the nice third person template, which is great, but all these walls are really annoying to animate in. So let's actually create a level so that we can have a specific workspace in our Unreal project just for animation. So file level we want basic and then we want to make sure we save it so file save level as i'm just going to call it animation work space you can name it whatever you want okay now that my level is here we need to create our shot so what i find is easiest is to create a specific animation folder so new folder i'll call it animation and then here's where we'll have all our level sequences, think of them like our Maya binary files, as well as all our FBX files. So for now, I will create a folder, call it workspace, that will hold all our level sequences. And you can organize this how you want, but I often like to group them by type of file just so that I know my groupings better. So for example, we'll put like attack animations in one, we'll put like actions in another. I'm just going to do locomotion. So this will be like our, our idle walk, run, jump thing, like moving around. It's just easier for me to categorize it. But again, you can do this how you want. All right. So this is where I will have the idle now. In order to create the level sequence, I like to do it in the content browser the most. Cinematics, level sequence, and I'll call ls um, idle. Okay, so double click, open it up. And I can't do anything because I don't have a rig in my level. So we need to reference it. And how you do that in Unreal is actually pretty easy. So just go to the rigs in the mannequin folder here, drag and drop it, and it will be automatically added to sequencer. And you see here now I have it referenced in my scene. Uh, for me personally, just because I'm a little nitpicky, I usually like to put the mannequin at origin. So I'll just do that. And then I'll just move the player start. Okay, great. So this is how we'll be setting up all our files to create all our different animations. Now, before we actually get started to animating, there are a few settings that I personally like to switch over that make my life easier. So the first one has to do with the middle mouse pan. Unreal has it opposite than that in Maya, so I like to switch that over. So you wanna go to your preferences, type in invert, and then you'll see it here, invert middle mouse pan, click that on. You will also see that Unreal's default manipulator does not have the little per axis manipulations. It doesn't have the outer ring. I personally don't like animating with these. I find them frustrating. So there's actually a plugin you can enable called the TRS Gizmo. I'll have to restart the editor, um, but I like it because it, gives, it feels more intuitive for me to use. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that the plugin is installed, I actually need to turn it on in the settings. So let's go back to the editor preferences, type in TRS, and then I have to check it, check it on. And then now you'll see that when I select my rig, I will have the Maya style manipulator, which is much more to my liking. You do lose the, the ability to reset pivot points, like how in Maya you can hit the D key and then reset the pivots. You can't do that with this one here, but I prefer the interface of this one. So, you know, it's up to you, do what you want. So now that we have the navigation all working, we have our file set up there, I'm gonna go over uh, some plugins and some hotkeys that I personally like to use. So, 3P Games has actually released a nice picker, which you can install. I'll leave the link below, it goes through the installation instructions, but if you right click and run it, you'll see there's a ton of different options. So all the different controls, I can do it through a picker, super helpful. It's like the Anim School picker. You can create selection sets, mirroring, it's super helpful. So definitely check this out. It'll make Unreal a little bit more animator friendly for you. So besides the picker, there are some hotkeys I like to do. So we can access the hotkeys by editor preferences and going to the keyboard shortcuts. Now for me, I like having the graph editor open all the time. And I like in my hitting one, two, three to switch between absolute stacked and normalized, which I have already set up. 
But to do that, you would just need to type in, in them in here. And then you would switch them over and override them from the other thing. I also like to switch over the uh, next key and previous key. I think they're set to the period and comma. I prefer to have them with the up and down arrows. Again, you can do what you want, but definitely check through the sequencer. Uh, the sequencer hotkeys to see if there are any specific ones you would want to switch over to your liking. So definitely check that out, and I think that's about it, so we can go ahead and get started.